Exploring the unknown has always made for a dangerous life. With only our instincts as our guide, we have to step with certainty into uncertain situations. Sometimes we misstep. What defines us is that moment. Do we retreat or do we continue stepping forward? One creature always believed in stepping, I'm sorry, in waddling forward. You're a new character and you're already in tons of great scenes and you've got plenty of lines. This is every actor's dream. Guys, I am so proud to be part of the Quest for an Unknown Planet cast, okay? I am so proud, but the fans, they hate my character. No, no they don't. I can only assume he is a attempt at comic relief, but the end result is sadistic. Well, that's taken out of context, most likely. When Dabuka walks on screen, my ears want to vomit into my eyes. I don't even know what that means. That may be good. Private Dabuka cabase. More like private fa f f face. All right. Anybody can write anything on a blog. It doesn't mean it's true. This is Entertainment Weekly. EW. Okay, sure, but you're just assuming that the asterisks are replacing U's. It could be any vowel. It could be more like private fofoca fofos. Or fafika fick face fis. Yeah. Or Guys, fa f No. Comic Con is coming up, and I just do not want to get stabbed by some geek, okay? Geeks don't stab people, unless they have a batleth. Mechleth, technically. It's the weapon of a Klingon assassin, easy to conceal and deadly. Can we just adjust a couple things about the character to make him more appealing? Yeah, sure. We can give him a promotion. Sergeant Dabuka Cabase. Uh, or we could adjust something about the way he talks. He could be like a little more mature or something. Like, um, like in this scene, he could just say, uh, the planet's core appears to be growing more unstable. Read it how we wrote it. Oops, a doozle, I think. No, read it how we wrote it in the character's voice. Oops, a doozle, I think this bit of planet is going to go boom boom like when the book eat Mr. Quinn's homemade chili. It's so much better. I can't believe you don't hear how much better that is. In the episode, Homie Sweetums, Homie Home, we explain that Dabuka comes from a planet that has a large eccentric orbit, and so due to the limited number of orbits around the sun, his entire species develops very slowly and in a measured pace. So even given his advanced age, he would still speak with a level of simplicity. I understand and respect his backstory, but what about this? Well, of course. I mean, Dabuka's home planet is covered with gravitational abnormalities, as we explain in the episode, whoopsa, 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 okay? Now, we show that due to those gravitational abnormalities, there's going to be an aggregation of muscle and fat in different places than on a human. That is great, but all the fans see is a fat ass, okay? It's a, I, my, my character is a fat ass. This is Wicked Syndrome. No, no. Yeah. Absolutely not. It is not Wicked Syndrome. What's, what's Wicked Syndrome? When a science fiction author uh, has a... A speculative fiction author. When a speculative fiction author accidentally puts a scene killer in their show without realizing it, uh, it's, the name comes from... Wicked, who was an Ewok in Return of the Jedi. Yeah, like, uh, like, um, Jar Jar Binks. No! Shut up. No. There's no, we don't that say doesn't that. exist. We don't say Wicked that word. Wicked is the Ewok from Return of the Jedi. Okay, that, that, whatever it is, that, it is happening now, okay? I'm not sure. Do the walk. Okay, now do the line. Speaking of voice. <laughs> Speaking of Mr. Quinn's chili, try to the book and it's a dead up before she met the elephant. More <laughs> aggressively simple. Speaking of Mr. Quinn's chili, try to the Yeah, but not angry, like happy. Speaking of Mr. Quinn's chili, try to the Remember, your bones are 90% gelatin. Try to the book and it's Need to leave now before she go make the air go. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Oh my god, my eyes want to vomit in my ears. Now you see. I never thought it would happen to us. We're gonna, we're gonna take care of this. Guys, do not be hard on yourselves, okay? I'm just so glad that we figured this out and we're gonna fix it and there's gonna be no more silly talk, no more stinkle talk. So, thank you. Okay. Good, okay, bye. 
you know what we have to do, right? Yeah. Now is not the time for recrimination and regret. We could stand here and wonder why a creature like Dabuka Cabase had to die so slowly and so painfully. But now is the time to celebrate Dabuka's life by honoring his death with the traditional music of his people. Keep traveling, my friend.